Hey there, and welcome back to Crystal Talks. It is Katie and Cynthia here. We have a really fun topic for you today. This is something that Cynthia and I talk about all the time. We're really big in this, and um, it can be such a powerful thing for you to bring into your life. So we're going to talk about angel communication today. It's like such an amazing thing. And, you know, we know angels are out there, but sometimes we forget that we have a team of angels on our side. We have angels that are with us all the time. And it's not just guardian angels. There are seraphim angels. There are so many different kinds of angels, archangels, all these angels that are out there that are really there to support us and actually communicate with us all the time, but we miss it sometimes because I know life takes us all over the place and sometimes we're just really preoccupied. So I'm also saying, calling to you and saying, hey, pay attention to the messages that come through. Um, We're going to talk about some tools today that you can use to really communicate with those angels, to ask for guidance, to ask for more communication, and even to bring you to the awareness of the communication that's already coming through. Sometimes angels send messages through numbers that you might see on the clock or um, a song that comes on the radio. You know, every little thing could be a message, an animal that runs across in front of your car. And they all have messages and meanings. And your angels want to support you. They want to communicate with you. They want to give you these messages. And so this is kind of an informative video for you, but also a little knock on the door from your angels saying, hey, listen up, I'm communicating with you. So Cynthia, I know this is really something you're passionate about as well as me. So if there's anything you have to share about angel communication, please do. But also what are crystals and essential oils that we can really use to harness the communication that the angels are sending to us right now and even deepen that communication, open ourselves up to more. Well, I'll just echo what you said is to please be aware of the messages that your angels are sending you because so often, you know, they're they're trying really hard to find a way if you, you know, if you're not listening to communicate with you and it, it might come up with numbers. It might come up in, like Katie said, in a song on the radio. It might also come up in, you know, for me, it's um, just amazing little ways of, you know, I've got to pair things together and I end up with exactly the same number in one stack that I had in the other. You know, it had to be my angels guiding me to pick that many out of each stack so that they match. And I know that may sound silly, but what I view it as is is a way that they're trying to bring my attention to something to pay attention. You know, that there's something going on here. I need to keep my awareness on 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 full alert because there's something they're trying to send to me. Or sometimes they're just saying keep going. Sometimes that happens when I'm feeling kind of down. I've bitten off some big projects lately. And, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I, you know, did I go too far? Am I, am I really pushing my luck here? And I think sometimes they send those little messages to, um, you know, to keep, to keep me going saying, nope, you're on the right path. You're, you're helping people. You're doing what you need to be doing. Keep going. So, um, with that in mind, we created this uh, this set that opens that um, channel of communication with your angels. Well, it's it's always open, but it it's kind of like a a power booster, you know, a little energy charge. Um, and and the first one, uh, first and foremost, is amethyst. Amethyst is an amazing crystal for communication and clarity. Um, celestite is another one that, that that just it's very strong for con- well I mean you can hear it in the name it, it connects and connect that supports that connection with your angels uh, angel light of course had to be in the collection it, it activates uh, you know deep awareness so you can recognize and and receive um, angel aura is uh, one that's had a a precious coating put on top of uh, quartz of one kind or another, usually clear quartz. It it, enhances intuition and that spirit connection. Uh, Labradorite, uh, another one of my favorites, it it elevates your spiritual growth. Now, all of this is 
is aimed at raising your vibration because if your vibration is higher, then you are reaching, you're, you're more likely to communicate with the angels who, of course, you know, work in a very high vibration realm. So the more that you can do that with your crystals and essential oils, which we'll talk about in a minute, then, you know, that's, that's why you become more aware, more open to that reception. Um, and then the, the last one I, I wanted in this set was lapis, lapis lazuli, which it, it assists with the truthful communication so that you can, uh, you can hear, you can be aware and, and hear it correctly. Um, before I go into the oils, Katie, is there anything you'd like to add to our, our talk about the crystals? You know, I really love the crystals that you picked for angel communication. Um, Angel Aura is one of my favorites. I just love the coloring on it, the way the light hits it. Um, of course, Labradorite as well. Labradorite kind of has that mystery. You never know what it's going to look like, right? Um, mm -hmm. When the light hits it, it changes too. Um, those are two of my favorites for sure. And I think um, it's also, you know, just kind of opening up to that vibration of the angels, you know, these really all of these crystals is just such a powerful way to open up yourself and to be in that vibration to really become aware like we're talking about right and really see the messages that are coming through and even deepen that communication with the angels so love them all really love them all well let's get into some essential oils if you choose to mix your crystals and your essential oils you just boost the power and the vibration of both of them so some suggestions that we have, uh, again, you pick your intention first. What are you trying to manifest? What are you trying to bring into your life? If it's communication is your focus, then uh, we would suggest lavender, frankincense, peppermint um, would be good places to start. That angelic connection, uh, frankincense, rose, bergamot are three that are great for that. Uh, for clarity, if you feel like maybe you're not receiving the message that you're supposed to be receiving, try a little rosemary, lemon, or ginger. This will cut through the clutter. Uh, spiritual growth, uh, frankincense, holy basil, lotus, sandalwood. And if you haven't tried lotus, you really ought to. It's a really light, delightful uh, essential oil. I, I just love to use it on an everyday basis it sort of boosts your vibrations all by itself and if you feel like you need a boost for your intuition uh clary sage litzia or tansy um are are good for that and there's there's others of course that you can work with and certainly these are suggestions places for you to start uh, if your intuition is telling you no i want you to try that one then by all means, give it a try. Uh, your intuition is your inner wisdom. So it, it knows best for you. And then a um, little bonus, got a recipe of a, uh, a rollerball recipe. If that's something you you know want to try to have around to just um, dab on real quickly uh, during, throughout the day, then I recommend six drops of frankincense, uh, six drops of lavender, four drops of sandalwood and two drops each of lemon and rose. That's the amount for a standard 10 ml roller bottle. Uh, you can of course cut it in half for a five. Anyway, you put those in and then you fill the remainder of the bottle with uh, carrier oil. Uh, as I've said before, um, jojoba is a great one for your skin benefits. Um, but it, it, uh, if you feel like you're going to want to keep it around for a while, you're not going to use it all quickly, then you might want to consider coconut oil since it has a, uh, a longer shelf life. Anything you'd like to add to all that, Katie? I love it all. Love all right. it all. Lavender and sandalwood really calling out to me like usual. One of my, <laughs> those are two of my favorites and the combination of the two, I love them together. Um, you know, angel communication, we we're giving you tools to kind of get into that communication, to become aware. A great mantra to use is I am open and connected. You know, being open to the communication, connected to the angels, open to kind of looking at these messages and perceiving them maybe in a different way. 
you know, not just seeing them, but being open to what the message is and really staying connected to that wisdom that's being shared with you, that divine intuition that is already flowing through you. Um, so that's a great mantra to use. And you can kind of carry it through your chakra system. I am is traditionally with the root chakra. So I am connect, open and connected. And to the sacral, I feel open and connected. And into the solar, I act open and connected. Into the heart, I love my openness and connection to my angels. And into your throat, I speak and express and listen openly and connected. Your third eye, I see with open eyes and deep divine connections. And up into your crown chakra with, I know, I understand openness and connection, you know, like just really carrying those words through your energy system to open up and fully connect into the angels that are there communicating with you, maybe even calling in some new angels too, because that's also a possibility. So great mantra to use with this concept of angel communication and tapping into something a little bit more spiritual and really receiving that divine wisdom. Um, of course, all this information we shared with you, Cynthia has created this beautiful kit about for angel communication with all these tools and resources for you to harness this angel communication, to be open to it, connected to it. And if you want to learn more about that kit, you can always find more information at ewbms.com on that kit. And of course, if you have questions, please reach out to us, you know. One of the things we love the most is talking to you out there and really supporting you to tap into the energies of not only angel communication, but of crystals and essential oils and all of the, the fun tools that nature has provided for us. So please reach out with any questions you have and have a great rest of your day and we will see you next week.